Welcome back to another Outdoor Philosophy. We have made it to the end of another year. That's right, this is the last Outdoor Philosophy until next year, which will consequently be one more week. So, you know, but the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, of course, everybody's probably talking about goals. At least I hope most people are talking about goals. Now, I've never been a person that makes New Year's resolutions, a lot of the reason is I sit back and I say, you know, if I need to change something, I don't need to wait till the new year to change. You know, my mother smoked growing up and that always bothered me as a kid. You know, I was that obnoxious child that was leaving how to quit smoking guides on top of the ashtrays in the bedroom. I mean, come on, man. But regardless, if I and I bring that up to say how many times I see somebody hard, oh, I'm just going to smoke just until New Year's. Just until New Year's it's like a week. You know, it's Christmas, you know, <laughs> New Year's, New Year's. And this is my last cigarette. And it's their last cigarettes for about a day and then they start smoking again, you know. And that's the type of thing. When you see something that needs to change, don't wait for a new year to change. Just change. But it is a good thing to stop and reflect on this new year's time and actually talk on this new year's time explicitly about goals, visions, dreams. Now, what I actually do is every three months, I will stop and do a reevaluation of goals and directions. I'll see how well did I do? How well did I not do? Like, you know, this month, I, so I do my goals, goals quarterly. But of course, at the new year, you'll have more ideas, more intentions. And I am planning a few different things. Not that I have resolutions, but that I'm going to do different things with different goals. Of course, I'm launching the new writing uh, re resource January 1. I hope January 1. I'm still fighting with one social media account. I don't want to process all of the videos until I know for sure I have that social media account so I can make sure I have everything in the videos right. But regardless, all that being said, um, I have goals for launching a new resource, which is going to be a new channel, a new website, a new teaching resource. That's coming on down the line very shortly. It's called Writing Done Right. And uh, I will have the links for that out on this channel and on my other channels as soon as I have them. I am going to, you can find it right now, but I'm going to move it. Whether or not that means I can keep that URL or change the URL, I don't know. We'll look into all those types of things. Uh, but regardless, what we're going to start to do is I will have goals about how to get that thing starting from day one, no viewers on up. And I want to see if we can make that thing actually turn a profit by the end of the first year which is a good goal, a good dream, a good vision to have. Now, there's other things you might do, personal goals. What type of personal goals do we have in our life? And that's a very important thing to decide because you might have a goal to get more fit. You might have a goal to eat better. You might have a goal to spend less time staring at screens, which are all good and valid goals for the new year. And I encourage you to look at your life right now even though I'm not a huge fan of New Year's resolutions, I do encourage you to look at your life right now and determine, are there things you could change and what are you waiting for? And even if you're watching this video in you know, March or whatever, maybe you found my channel and in March you're watching my video, you watch this, don't wait until New Year's next year. Change something now. Whatever you're looking to do, change now. Don't wait for New Year. Don't wait for resolutions. But because it is a new year, in fact, I talk about this a little bit in the book, Happy Holidays, of how January got set and, and the new years and all those types of things. And uh, basically January happened is based on the god Janus. And Jan uh, is it Janus or Janus? I forget. Uh, but anyway, this god is the god of new beginnings, new endings. So this is why we have December is the 10th month, but it's the 12th month, but its name means 10. And November is the 11th month, but main's name means nine, you know. This is why we get that, because a few months were dropped in there in the calendar, and Janus was selected for the first month because it is a god of new origins, of new beginnings, to look back and to look to the future. Keep a journal. If you have a journal, take the time this year to read through that journal over your last years and learn from it. If you have not, consider keeping a journal going into the new year, which I always like keeping journals on written paper, but if you gotta do it on a technology basis, you can do it on a platform, but I just think it's so much better to do that journal in your own hand. It's so much more, more useful. Consider that as a thing. Uh, considering going into this, of course, at the beginning of the 2010s, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, at the beginning of the 2010s, we saw this revolution that caused this social media and this phone and this screen addiction. Look at curbing that this year. 
Look at spending less time on your phone. Find three apps and turn off notifications altogether. And instead of looking at the, that app on your phone when it beeps, look at your, that app on your phone when you've scheduled time for it. And don't look at it other times than that. Turn off notifications. The only notifications I have are text messages and phone calls. Nothing else notifies me on my phone. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to see it. I do not want stuff to be coming down and going, oh, let's, you know, I'm in the middle of doing something. And I've got to stop. It takes my attention off of what I'm doing. I lose productivity. I lose the moment to go see what that message and that beep was. Don't let Facebook beep you. Don't let Twitter beep you. Don't let any of these social platforms, don't let YouTube beep you. Not on your personal device. If you have notifications turned on, subscribe to the channel and notify, set on those notifications for your web browser when you're in front of the computer. It's already your time. Get notified when things are coming up. Excellent idea. But not on your device because it's going to distract you from the things. The ultimate goal is to become more productive in your life going into the new year. That is what is so important. So evaluate your life. Look at the last year. Consider the things that you could do going forward into the new year and look at the various options that you have for making 2020 a more productive year for you than 2019 was. Be that more income, be that more family time, be that more friend time, whatever that would be, just make sure you're not being controlled by various techno gizmos and gadgets and make sure that you are setting the boundaries for your own life going into this new year. So that's what I want to say. Happy New Year to you. And uh, we will see you next year. Actually, I think I have a couple more videos at the end of this year. But anyway, uh, we'll go on from there and uh, we'll chat later. So thanks for coming along on this outdoor philosophy. And I hope that you enjoy your daily walk in our Lord.